like the clock hypnotized Gonzo again. Gonzo, uh, me fox, me fox. Welcome. Gosh, a whole hour till lunch. Oh, I can't wait. Me neither. Me neither. I know. We can sneak into the kitchen and get some food. <gasps> Shame on you, Skeeter. Nanny told us never to take snacks without asking. Oh, she won't mind as long as we eat our lunch. You'll get caught for sure. Then we'll all get in trouble. Not if we do an impossible mission. <laughs> Watch. Good morning, Mr. Scooter. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to sneak into the kitchen and get us all some snacks. As usual, should you or any of your Muppet Impossible Force be caught, I'll tell Mommy I had nothing to do with it. My nose will self-destruct in two seconds. Huh? Come on, Scooter. We've got an impossible mission to do. Impossible mission? Sneaking snacks is big trouble, Skeeter. You're going to get caught! Come on! Hold it, Skeeter. There's a guard. If we move past the living room, we'll be spotted for sure. Not if we disguise ourselves. Huh? Here, put this on. Oh, a good idea. <laughs> We made it! Now all we need to do is get the food and get out of here. It's stuck. All right, Scooter, let's have the explosives. I don't have any explosives. Sure you do. Give me your bubble gum. Huh? Hey, that's my last piece. the wind. Something must have happened to them. It's been ten minutes. I told you they were going to get caught. Woo! We're, we're back. back. Oh, oh, boy. Boy. Did you get the snacks? Yeah, I'm starving. Hungry, hungry. Yeah, there's plenty for everyone. Oh, no, you don't. Hey, give it back. What? Someone around here has got you from getting in trouble. I'm taking these snacks right back to the kitchen. Oh, sure. And just how do you expect to sneak back into the kitchen without getting caught? Simple. than to sneak snacks between meals. But I, I wasn't sneaking snacks, Nanny. I was... Now, Piggy, don't make things worse by telling fibs. But Piggy's telling the truth, Nanny. Skeeter and I... <laughs> Ow! That's kind of you to try to cover up for her, Scooter. But Piggy has to learn to take responsibility for what she does. But, Nanny... To make up for what you've done, Piggy, you'll have to clean up your mess and the rest of the kitchen, too. But... No buts. And Scooter, I want you and Skeeter to make sure Piggy does a good job. Huh? You can count on us, Nanny. Get to work, Piggy. Gosh, we ought to help Piggy. After all, we're the ones who are going to eat the snacks. No way, Ralph. 
Nanny said Piggy has to do it all by herself. <coughs> Nanny said, This isn't fair. Why should I have to clean up this whole mess by myself? You'd think I was Cinderella or something. Piggerella! Piggerella! Huh? Step Scooter, what are you doing? Do I have to wear this silly thing? What's wrong? It's a dress. That's what's wrong with it. I'm a boy, remember? So what, Scooter? In the story, Cinderella had two step sisters. Now get in step. Okay, okay. Cinderella, aren't you finished cleaning the kitchen yet? Well, um, I'm almost done. Well, hurry up. You gotta clean the chimney next. Pigarella? Yes, Step Nanny? You'd better have this place cleaned up before lunchtime, or no lunch for you. Yes, Step Nanny. What was that? Uh, nothing, Step Nanny. I thought I had a, a fly on my tongue. Cigarella, after you help us get dressed, you've got more cleaning to do. And so, Cigarella dressed her stepsisters for the ball. This is humiliating, Skeeter. I'm not wearing a dress to the party. Okay, then. You can always go without it. Huh? 
Okay, okay, I'll wear it. Can't you go any faster, Pigarella? We don't want to be late for the ball. Not, you couldn't possibly go wearing rags like that. Oh, yeah. Hurry, hurry! The carriage is waiting. And so, as Step Nanny and the Step Sisters went off to the bar, Pigarella found herself all alone in the big cold house. <laughs> huh? Who are you? I'm your fairy god, Weirdo. What? This must be my lucky day. Probably. Let's see now, uh, three little pigs, uh, Pigmalion. Uh, here it is, Pigarella. It says here I'm supposed to turn your rags into a beautiful gown so you can go to the ball. Yeah. I'm going to a party, not a pyramid, you nincompoop. Ooh, stay away from me. Students, welcome to Bunsen Honeydew's School for Fairies, Genies, and Leprechauns. Uh, Mr. Honeydew? <laughs> I've been having some trouble with my wand. <laughs> hmm, I see what you mean. I think I've got just what you need, Gonzo. See, the Astro Fairy Suit, complete with its own 50,000 volt laser wand. Show Gonzo how it works. Maybe you could just fix this one, huh? Let me have a look at that. Aha! Just as I suspected. There you go. Try it now. Hey, here's okay. Let's see. Now take me back. Sorry. And you shape up, Gonzo. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. The fairy god Weirdo had come to turn Piccadilly's rags into a beautiful gown so she could go to the ball. You better get it right this time or you're in trouble. Trust me. Voila! Oh, you skippy. That's more like it. Let me see. Uh, next time's supposed to turn a pumpkin into a coach. Uh-oh. I don't see any pumpkins. How about a tomato? They make much better coaches. Wow! A four-speed tomato coach with power windows, mag wheels, and a dumb bear. Oh, this thing looks better than I thought. Don't forget, Pigarella. Your dress will turn back into rags, your coach will turn back into a tomato, and your driver becomes a lousy comedian again at the stroke of seven. Precisely. would arrive so I could fall in love with her. I know it sounds kind of silly to me, too. But don't forget, this is Piggy's imagination. Get out of here, Skeeter! Hit it, Wolf! OK, 
Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four. who should be cleaning up this mess. Well, what are we waiting for? Huh? What are you doing? What we should have done in the first place. Oh, it's beautiful! What? I thought I told you kids that Piggy was supposed to clean up by herself. You did, Nanny. But that was because you thought Piggy snuck the snacks. And she didn't. That's right. Scooter and I were the ones who took the snacks. You did? Yeah, and the rest of us were going to eat them, Nanny. All except Piggy, that is. She knew it was wrong from the very start. Really? Uh-huh. Well, I guess I owe you an apology, Piggy. I'm sorry I didn't trust you. That's okay, Nanny. Now it's my turn to make up for my mistake. I'm going to fix all of you a wonderful fruit salad. Yeah. Oh, oh, but you don't have to make it, Nanny. Your fairy godweirdo will do it with this magic wand. 
Only on Snick. Now, stay tuned for more Muppet Babies, next on Nick. <laughs> 